my dear students in the previous video i introduced the concept modular arithmetic that is count one modulo n a count one to b mod n we introduced this in the, in our previous video it means a yeah, number a is divisible by a number n first we did n it is greater than or always if a is any number is divisible by a positive integer n it leaves the remainder b that is the relation a count one to b mod n or arrange we can say a minus b is divisible by n divisible by n i recall once again for example 21 congruent to mod 4 so you divide 21 by 4 5 fourths are 20 remainder is 1 so 21 congruent to 1 mod 4 otherwise 21 minus 1 is divisible by 4 divisible by 4 21 minus 1 is 20 20 is divisible by 4 uh, on 21 divided by 4 so the quotient is 5 5 fourths are 20 quotient is 5 remainder is 1 therefore 21 count out to 1 mod 4 these things you have seen in the previous video in this video i am going to introduce congruent modulo n addition modulo and multiplication modulo n addition modulo n addition modulo n and multiplication multiplication modulo multiplication modulo n see this is a topic in this video and uh, this is and uh, one more thing If a number is divisible by four, mod four, the remainders are the remainders I have given already for modulo four. The remainders are zero, one, two, and three only. Because it leaves the remainder up to three only. If four is the remainder for modulo four, it's again divided by four. It leaves the remainder zero. Therefore, for the C four. Mod four, four divided by four is one times quotient one, remainder zero. So four angle one to zero mod four, zero is the remainder. Therefore there is no remainder, there is no four for as a remainder. So four angle one to zero mod four, zero is the remainder. Or four minus zero divided by four, and that. Similarly, I gave in the previous video, if an angle one mod y n, if mod is y n, the remainder is r. For mod y n. For modulo n remainders, zero, one, two, three, etc. N minus one. Up to n minus one, we have remainder for the modulo n. If the number is divisible by n, it leaves a remainder zero, one, two, etc. Up to n minus one only. See these things you have seen already in the previous video. Now we will go to addition modulo. Uh, before that, uh, what are the uh, congruent class I am going to introduce? Congruent class. For for modulo four. Remainder is zero for congruent modulo four. Remainder is zero is the remainder. The zero leaving remainders for 
what are the flow rate? Modulo flow rate? 0, 4, multiples of 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on up to infinity. Similarly here, minus 4, minus 8, minus 12 and etc. up to infinity. This is, this, these are the remainders, these are the numbers on divided by 4 leaves the remainder as 0. So these are the numbers. 16 modulo 4 is remainder 0. 4 modulo 4 is remainder 0. 8 modulo 4 is remainder 0. 4 modulo, minus 4 modulo 4 is remainder 0. Like that. See, for every number leaves the remainder 0 when we divide by 4. Therefore, these are all numbers under, comes under congruent class 0 remainder. This is called the congruent class zero remainder. This, this notation is called congruent class zero. It leaves zero remainder when the numbers are divisible by four. Similarly, the remainders are uh, leaving one, remainder one, the numbers are here congruent class one, the numbers are one, five, Addition of 4, 5 plus 4, 9, 13, etc. Similarly, here 0 minus uh, 0 minus 1 minus minus 3. Minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Again, minus 3, minus 7, minus 11, and so on. So these are the numbers on dividing by 4 leaves the remainder 1. Therefore, these numbers are comes under congruent class 1, remainder 1. Similarly, for numbers leaving remainder 2, that is 2 plus 4, 6, plus 4, 10, 14, etc. Here, minus 4, plus, minus uh, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2 plus 4, gives the remainder 2, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Similarly, minus 2 plus 4 minus 6 and so on, minus 10 and so on. Similarly, these are the numbers on dividing by 4, leaving the remainder as 2. Therefore, these numbers are comes under congruent class, remainder to congruent class 2. And 3, it is, we start from 3 plus 4, 7, plus 4, 11, 15, and here, minus 1, minus 1 plus 4 is minus 5, minus 9, and so on. So these are the numbers on dividing by 4 leaves the remainders 3. Therefore, this is congruent class 3, leaving the remainders on dividing these numbers by 4, leaving the remainders. See, these are the thing comes under modulo 4. These remainders are in congruent class 4 is not comes under this 4 because it's an in 0. 4 divided by 4 is 0 remainder. So these are these numbers congruent class 4. Same as the numbers on congruent class 0, therefore, this is not included in the congruent class 6. Therefore, these sets are called Z4. Z4 is the set of congruent classes under order of 4. The elements are 0, 1, 2, and 3. This 
set is called set of congruent classes modulo 4. Z4 is the set of congruent classes modulo 4. Comes 0 modulo, uh, congruent class 0, 1, 2, and 3. It's a, it is otherwise written as 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 as it is. Instead of writing this within this bracket, we can write simply the number also. We can rewrite this set as like this. So, Z4 is a on set of Z4 is a set of congruent classes. Z4 is the set of congruent classes. Congruent classes. Z4 is a set of congruent classes modulo 4. These, these, are, these are called congruent classes. And like that, for Z5 is a set of congruent classes modulo 5. It consisting of remainder 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Like that, the num numbers we can derive. Z5 is a set of congruent classes modulo 5, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's what this is called Z4. Up to remainder 4. It can be written as 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. By number itself, we can write it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 itself. We can write it also. We can express this set as the number by these numbers alone instead of writing it in brackets. Similarly, Z10 is the set of congruent classes modulo n. It are 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to n minus 1. This is Z10 is a set of congruent classes modulo n. Like that, the congruent classes are expressed with the remainders for Z5, Z10 and Z4, everything, Z3 and so on. Now we are going to introduce addition modulo n. <coughs> See, addition modulo. That is addition modulo n. Suppose a addition modulo n equal to a addition modulo b means is a least with the answer is the least non negative integer. Least non negative remainder. List non negative remainder when A plus B is divided by N. This is the definition. A addition model by N B is the least non negative remainder when A plus B is divided by N. That is, for example, 3 addition model of 4, 2. I am writing the example. 3 addition model of 4. You just add 3 plus 2. What is 3 plus 2? 5. 5 addition model of 4. This is 5. Addition model of 4 means remainder is 1. So 3 addition model of 4, 2 equal to 1 answer. This is just to answer add uh, usual addition. 3 addition model of 4 is 5. 5 divided by 4 is the remainder 1. Therefore, 3 addition model of 4 equal to 2 is 1. So, which, for another example also I can write 7 addition model of 10, 8. You just add 7 plus 8 is what? 15. 15 addition model of model of 10. 1, 10 is 10, remainder is 5. Therefore, 7 addition model of 10, 8, 8 is 7 addition model of 8 is model of 10 equal to answer is 5. 
because you just add the number as usual and after that getting the answer you divide by 10 the remainder you can get 5 so 7 addition mode over 8 is 5 like that addition mode over one more example 6 addition Modulo 7 plus 4. 6 plus 4. 10. How many 7? 17 is 7 divided? 3. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 divided by 7 is 177 divided by 3. This is the answer. Like that, addition modulo is the least to non negative integer. Least to non negative integer. And the number is divided by the modulo number n. Similarly, multiplication modulo now. Another definition. Multiplication model. Multiplication modulo n that is defined written by int n. This is addition n, that is addition model, this is, this is multiplication model. Int n. That is definition is A multiplication model n with b is equal to the least non-negative integer so non-negative remainder non-negative least non-negative remainder the least non-negative rem remainder when the multiplication a b is divided by n example 6 multiplication model of 4 multiplication model of 3 is equal to 4 3 is 12. Similarly, 12 divided by 5, 2 5 is 10. 12, the asymptotic multiplication 4 3 is 12, 12 power 1 and 2 mod 5 is 2 mod 5 because remainder is 2. 2 in 12, 2 5 is 10, remainder is 2. Remainder is 2. Like that, multiplication model. One more example for multiplication model. To understand this, <coughs> 7 multiplication model 8 into 6. 7 6 are 42. 42 mod 8. 5 is are 40. Remainder is 2. So, model 8 is numbers should be less than the modulo number. The 7 and 6 should be less than 8. Similarly, 5, 4 plus 3 should be less than 5. So, modulo number, you can operating with the modulo, either addition or multiplication, the class intervals, the classes are, the power one classes are less than that modulo number. These are the things. 7 into 6, which are less than 8. So, these are under modulo 8. Multiplication is as to multiplication. 7, 6 are 42. 5 is or 40 remainder 2. Like that, we define one addition model on multiplication model. Using this addition model on multiplication model, we have to prove that whether those are binary um, operations on either can. That we will see in the next video. Thank you.